If you've ever accidentally purchased something from the Apple App Store and then need a request the refund from Apple, don't worry, in this video, I've got you covered. It's super simple to put that refund request in. The first thing we're gonna do is jump on our computer, it's just easiest, and go over to the website, reportaproblem.apple.com. This is just a subsection of the Apple website, and it's gonna ask you to sign in with your Apple ID. I'm simply gonna, uh, I'm just gonna sign in with my password, I'm going to two-factor verify, so allow and pop in my two-factor verification code and hit done. And this is going to take you to the report a problem page. And from here, you can scroll down and see uh, all the latest um, applications you've downloaded and purchased from the App Store. Uh, and there is one here that I want to get rid of, which is the Monash University uh, FODMAP diet. So I'm going to select on the drop down action here. Uh, and then of course you can choose to request a refund, report a quality issue, report a scam, a fraud, or any offensive, illegal, or abusive content. For this request, we are going to request a refund. And then it's gonna ask us to tell a little bit more about why we want a refund. We're gonna drop on this drop down menu, and then you could say you didn't choose to buy it. You could say a child or a minor had your phone, they made the purchase without permission. You didn't mean to sign up for a subscription or you didn't want to renew it. Uh, your purchase didn't work as expected or it was an in-app purchase that you didn't receive or you have another issue. For this example, I'm just gonna say, I did not mean to buy this and then simply select on next. Here it's gonna give you a tick box to all the apps that you can buy. There is of course a time limit to this. I believe it is about 30 or 60 days to request that refund. Uh, I'm actually gonna request the refund on this university diet app that I downloaded. I didn't realize I would get charged for it uh, after seven days. So I've got the app here and I'm simply gonna select up the top where it says submit, request a refund. I didn't mean to buy this and simply select on submit. This has now been submitted into Apple, and as it says here, your request has been submitted. Allow 48 hours for a, an update. Uh, of course, you can always come back to this webpage here, reportaproblem.apple.com, and select on check status of your claims. And this will show you uh, your previous as well as your pending refunds. You can see in 2022, I had uh, a refunded item for Duolingo. Again, downloaded the app. I didn't mean to buy it for 130 bucks. Uh, that refund went through straight away. Uh, and I feel that this one will as well because this app was purchased a day or two ago. Obviously, it's only been one or two days, so I didn't really mean to buy it. Uh, and then within a few days, the money will be credited back into my account. If you jump over to your email address as well, you do also get an email from Apple uh, where it just says, hey, we are confirming that you made this uh, request and then this gives you a few hyperlinks to go in and check the status of your of your claim uh, as well as report problems and things like that but it is really easy uh, Apple has made the process super simple um, where you basically go to reportaproblem.apple.com put in what that problem is and then request your refund from there uh, of course if you found this video useful let me know by giving a thumbs up and if you're on a supercharge to raise your computer hit that subscribe button as well thanks for watching and I'll see you next time bye